Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, I got a good project today. I am attempting to try to get a more center focused mount in my Forerunner and also a little bit sturdier rather than being on that monopod. Not that the monopod is bad, but it is bad in a sense that it's always driven me crazy that the view that I get from having it on the monopod, regardless of which camera I use, always has a lot of the window in it and everything gets blown out and that drives me nuts. So I used to have a, we'll just say a setup that put it on the center of the dashboard. The problem with that was twofold. One, I always got dinged on my inspections and they would they would make me take it out. So I had to have something that would come out easily. So theoretically, that was Velcro. The problem with the Velcro is it gets up to 105 degrees here at times in Virginia Beach in the warmer months. And that also means that it can get up to 130, 140 degrees in the vehicle at, on that dashboard portion, especially because of the fact that it's almost always in sun. So when I'm driving down the road, you know, it's in the sun. If it's parked, it's in the sun most of the time. So that heats up the glue that's on the Velcro on both the dashboard side and the side of whatever plate and clamping system that I have on top of it. And I have other stuff in my vehicle that is Velcroed and it, and it, just, it just peels off because of the heat. I don't want my thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment taking a tumble or coming loose when I'm taking a hard corner and, and flying off and smashing or hitting me or causing an accident or any of the other awful shit that can happen if you know that were to actually happen. So I've been contemplating in my evil melon since last night. Unfortunately for me, I thought about this as I was laying in bed getting ready to go to sleep and I got really excited and I wanted to get up and I wanted to try everything, but I thought it was kind of stupid to get out of bed at like 12:30 in the morning and go out into the driveway in the freezing ass cold in the dark trying all this shit. So I've been doing it this morning, you know, trying to piece things together that I think will make the most sense and now I'm going to go out into the forerunner and I'm going to actually see if you know what I'm thinking will even begin to work so that I'm not building shit for nothing. So let's hit the forerunner. Had to modify a few things. So it just wasn't gonna work out the way that I had originally planned it, but it's actually working out, I think, rather well. One of the roadblocks that I ran into is the fact that I have to take the handle off of this setup in order to get it to sit on the dashboard and not either, well, right now, not hit the rear view mirror. And if I had it set back further on the dash where I used to, then it would hit the glass. So at this point, I have changed the handle from the one with the airy connection to the one with the NATO rail. So I put a small NATO rail on here and then I got a NATO rail handle that I have. And like I said, I've got several small rig handles. So it works out just fine that way. Now I'm gonna show you what I did. Basically, I took a cheese plate that I had for my cam caddy, took that apart, cleaned it up. Then I took a Ulanzi ball head and attached that to the cheese plate but i also put i'm just going to call it like a, an almost like an angle bracket type device and screwed that into the bottom of the cheese plate up into the ball head and then i wrapped it in velcro and put velcro on two spots on the dash so that now the weight of the camera should push that down and hold it in place and then it's got the entire width of the cheese plate on the back flat on the dash that should also then take the weight. So it should evenly distribute the weight so that this sits and isn't pulling or pushing on any one portion of the cheese plate and it should be good to go. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Here's the cheese plate and then back here for about, I'm gonna guess a little bit over two inches, it goes all the way across and sits flat on the dash and you can see the the little marks before where I used to have the plate before that I was using. And then I took this little angle bracket and 
put Velcro all across the, the two sides that come up and across the bottom, and then put Velcro down on that little portion of the dash so it's sitting flat right here, but also has a little bit of play right there, and then that should sit just fine. Now I'm going to attempt to put this on here. Okay, even more of a stumbling block. Once I tried to get this up here and get the camera mounted onto the ball head, I found that because I put the NATO rail on there, that it pushed up into the rear view mirror. You know, I had the little uh, angle bracket set straight up and that was too much. So I had to bend it to get it to go down. All right, so, you know, I mean, bumps, bumps are bumps. They're gonna, they're gonna shake stuff around them regardless. I just want to make sure it doesn't come loose and go flying because for the most part, I mean, this is going to be steady enough. I am in a vehicle. I have to take it off of active stabilization so I get my full screen back, but I don't need active stabilization while I'm in here, you know, because I just don't. I think oh, that it's hot as balls in here, number one. All right, so I think I've got this all done. And because I have it on a ball head, I can spin it towards me if I really want to. But remember, the whole point of this was to not have it totally facing me because I was getting all this window light and it was blowing things out. So right now, I mean, yeah, I can see part of the window on both sides and I can see the rear view, you know, the, the rear window. I'm really more worried about the fact that most of the scene is accommodating the interior of the vehicle, not the exterior of the vehicle and then making me and everything inside here really dark. So I'm going to go for a little ride here, uh, you know, on the shittier parts of my driving and I'll go the other way too where the construction is and see what I can come up with as far as if this works out okay. I have it underneath my rear view mirror, dead center of the dash and I can still have the mirror down where it needs to be so that I can actually use the rear view mirror because obviously the safety is the most important part of this. I mean, if this doesn't work, it doesn't work. The way it is now, I think I'm good to go. I will have to look at this footage and I will have to rely on you all to tell me if you think it looks too bumpy, too shaky, whatever. So you guys tell me, honestly, do you prefer it center mounted like this so it's in the center of the dash and you get the whole vehicle or do you like it better when it's here on the monopod and it's facing me but the window's always blown out and the nice thing the way that this is set up you know because i can spin it i can then i can do this and then all i got to do is There, I'll do it that way. Now you guys can see where the hell I'm going. And this is a much better view than, and then that angle down low where you're seeing mostly sky instead of road. So yeah, I kind of dig this. call this one a success. The evil plan that I had in my melon last night has come to fruition and now I have my center mounted camera setup back inside the Forerunner and I think this is a much better, I don't know, field of view than being on the monopod because I don't have the, you know, the majority of my screen being taken up by the blown out window and I also have better forward-facing footage 
because now, you know, it's in the center and it encompasses not just a, a weird ass angle of the sky and part of the road. You can see everything and it should make for, I don't know, better time lapses or just you can see what I'm seeing when I'm driving all over like an idiot. And I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to, uh, you know, I can't really link anything because this cam caddy cheese plate was shit. I mean, I got this a long time ago, back when I lived in Chicago. So, I mean, it, it's it's been over 10, it's been a long ass time. Let's just put it that way. So I don't think that I'm gonna be able to link that or anything, but you can find yourself a cheese plate anywhere. I mean, just go to any place that supplies any kind of photography equipment and just type in cheese plate and you're bound to find something that'll work. The Yulanzi ball head was just part of uh, tripod that I had bought. So, I mean, again, you can go to the Yulanzi site and pick whatever you want. And it doesn't even have to be a Yulanzi, it could be anything, you know, and then the rest is just Velcro and that weird angle bracket thingy that I got from probably Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever hardware store you'd like to frequent. You can see, I showed you how I put it all together. So if you have any questions about it, by all means, drop me a line and let me know what, what your question is. But I'd be interested to see what you guys think of the footage and what you think of this solution that I've come up with for filming in my Forerunner, which again, I pretty much do every day. And I don't know, I mean, I'm still gonna keep the monopod here because it comes in handy. But for the most part, I think I'm gonna be doing this now. And now that I switched to the NATO rail handle, you know, back to that, I still made it work. And now this just slides on and off and I don't really have that much of a problem. All right, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna cut this short now and go do other shit. I gotta help my neighbor with her computer and I need to eat something because I drove around all those restaurants and it made me hungry. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, and of course, like I said, I wanna hear your thoughts on, on this whole setup and what you think. You know, if you think I can do it differently, better, whatever, or you think it's a dumb idea and you hate the footage and I look like an idiot, Idiot because I'm all the way over here in the part of the frame. Let me know all that. I've already thought of it, but I want to hear what you think. So that's it. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.